Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about an all new feature which is released by Cypress 5.0 today on automatic retriability of failed test cases. This is one of the most advanced or most requested feature by testing community which also reduce a lot of burden of testers. Cypress already have many many features which distinguishes itself from other automation testing tools like Protractor, Puppeteer, Selenium or Tescafe or maybe Playwright. Cypress has many such features and Cypress by default if you have already used that tool or play around with that tool you might have seen that any assertion which Cypress has got has automatic waiting within itself. So if you use the should method it automatically waits for the method to complete or identify if the element is already available. They already have the waiting mechanism. If you use expect method, it already has such waiting mechanism. So all these things are already there within Cypress by default. So they, there are cases where you might need to wait for the element to be available and then perform the assertion. Cypress has this already very, very long time before. So, I mean, the initial release of Cypress while I was releasing the course, it's already there by default. But now this additional retriability feature of Cypress 5.0 is really, really cool. Because just think how many times you might be rerunning the same failed test case again and again to see if that test case is passing or not. Because UI automation is almost always fragile. We know that. Sometimes the element may not be appearing because of the slow network or the bandwidth issue or maybe the application may be pretty pretty slow because of many different reasons. So if we have a retriability feature in that particular place where you can see that this particular element is already available, just try to retry automatically and see if that element is now available so that you can perform a click operation. I mean, we can write that logic already within the code, but Cypress has this feature out of the box within Cypress 5.0 and this is one of the exciting feature I would say. So as that said, as you can see over here, Cypress retries of failed test is giving us more control over the failed test cases and reducing the babysitting operation for us, which is really, really cool. And all we have to do to add this feature within our existing test code is to update Cypress to 5.0 and add this two lines, as you can see in here. One is run mode as one or whatever that you want and then open mode as four. So what does that mean? So if you're going to run the Cypress on the command line, which is nothing but the run mode, you can specify how many times you need to wait for that particular element to appear. So if you want to wait or retry for like two or three times, then you can specify one or two, whatever number that you want. And if you want to run that in the Cypress dashboard operation, which is Cypress open, which is nothing but the NPX Cypress open that we used to do. If you do this way, then you can also specify the retriability of that particular mode as well, which is the open mode of one or open mode of four that you can specify as you can see in here in the configuration. So this is super, super easy. All you have to do is just add these two configuration and you are pretty good to go with the new feature. That's it. And I can probably show you how the old UI of the dashboard and the new UI of the dashboard is going to look like. Basically, it's going to look something like this. As you can see in here, it's going to fail the test like this. And this is the old one. I mean, until 4.9 or something like that. And later, starting today, if you update to Cypress 5.0, you will have the UI something like this. As you can see, it's going to show you the attempt of the failures and it is going to perform the same attempt like four times that I have specified and then it's going to fail gracefully saying that this something I cannot even really really attempt to make this thing to pass. So there is like four attempts happening on Cypress side and it's trying to verify if this text Prashant is already available on that particular UI. Yeah, so this is it. This is the only super simple thing which you can do with the new retriability. I mean, Pretty straightforward. This is the required feature and it's already there in Cypress. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to show you my existing project with the old Cypress 4.6 era and then I'm going to show you the new Cypress 5.0 with the retriability feature. So jump into my machine's screen right now. All right. As you can see, 
now I have Cypress 4.6 over here and then I'm just gonna do a Cypress uh, open which is nothing but the NPX of Cypress open and once I do that it is going to open my existing uh, code loaded on the Cypress dashboard so if you can see over here I have an integration uh, folder and then I have Cucumber test and I also have some of the test which is very very specific to uh, the Cypress functionality itself there you go so now we have the Cypress 4.6 loaded and it has all the tests being listed which is available on my framework or maybe my code and if you can see in here I can run my test I think by the EA app dot spec dot JS which was the one which I was showing on the slide and it is gonna run pretty much exactly like how it has to run but this particular test is gonna fail looking for a text Prashant SSS which is completely not available on the UI so it is just gonna fail that's it so there is no way that I can really specify or mention in this test that wait for like three or four time or retry for three or four time to see if that particular text exists and if that particular text exists then try to perform an operation so I don't really have a mechanism to do that as you can see that this test is going to uh, start running it's also going to do some PRC uh, health check there so I have already configured the PRC for visual testing uh, and then you can see that it's going to verify the text, text containing Prashant SSS but that particular text doesn't really exist it has something like Prashant but not Prashant SSS so the test has now got failed which is pretty bad and we can of course see the console uh, output of this particular error and all those things and which file has made those error these are some of the feature we already know available in cypress that's all right but if you go to the run settings on the configuration on this particular version of cypress we don't really have a retries configuration itself because this is an old version and the new version which i was talking about if i just open the new project version i have already updated just to show you the demonstration so you can see that we have this uh, npx cypress open but before that you can see that within the cypress.json file i have added this retries over here so this retries tells me that how many number of retries i need to make on the run mode and how many number of retries i need to make on the open mode so now it is something uh, I have specified already in the test and now I have already updated to Cypress uh, 5.0. So if you can see in my cache uh, on the uh, local Cypress, uh, you can see that I have 5.0 already updated just today in the morning. And now that uh, the Cypress is gonna open, the 5.0 Cypress is gonna open. And you can see that this is looking like pretty much exactly like how it has to look uh, in our earlier version. And now if I just try to open the eaapp.spec.js If I try to run the test this time, you can see that it is going to load the test and it's going to run the test for me and we'll see how many time it now try to uh, retry and perform the attempt to run this particular test. And you can see that it is trying to attempt for the fifth time as well. So that's it guys, this is the new feature of Cypress Fire Auto. You can also do exactly the same thing if we try to uh, run this from the command line. So if I just try to run this on the uh, npx cypress run of spec of env name score to QA. So I have created my own custom uh, configurations to specify what uh, config which I'm running, which environment I'm actually going to run in the QA environment or a dev environment or staging environment. I have specified that. I can also specify the browser here like Chrome or Firefox, something like that. And once I specify everything over there, then it's going to run the test on the command line as well. And you can see that this time it's going to wait only for one time. So the attempt should be just one instead of uh, two attempts. So let's see what's going to basically happen. So it's currently executing the test for us. And you can see that this time it's also making two attempts. Basically it's saying attempt number two. 
I think there is some zero index problem on the existing or the current version of the Cypress 5.0. Maybe they fix it in 5.0.1, something like a hotfix. But yes, it proves the point that it actually works for both the uh, Cypress Run as well as the Cypress Open. So that's it guys. This is the new feature of Cypress. I'm pretty excited to see this new feature is really going to bring a lot of value to existing test cases. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.